Good day friends, it's me again Sanjeev Puri and Pankaj Sharma. Today we are going to be talking about the service of spirits. The objective of this session is that by the end of it you will know how to serve different spirits in different styles. So before we move forward, let's see what the spirits are. So spirits, these are basic distilled beverages made by the process of distillation. And spirits such as whiskey, rum, gin, vodka, tequila and brandy are served in the styles that we are going to be discussing henceforth. Uh, various spirits are served in different styles. The first and the most basic one is serving it neat or straight. As the name suggests, the drink goes without anything and it goes in the measure that is specific, which is mostly 30 ml for a small and a 60 ml for a large drink. But again, here also it's very important to add that the sizes of the drinks depends upon the SOPs and the excise policies of the area where it is being served. Talking about the second style of service of uh, spirits that is on the rocks. When we call it on the rocks, by the rocks here we mean rocks of ice. In this style, the drink would be served on the rocks of ice. So ice plus the spirit 30 or 60 ml as to it. It's exciting, isn't it? But normally, the drinks that are served as neat, straight or on the rocks, it tends to be a little bit stronger for the consumer. So, he likes to dilute his drink with various kind of additives, which are called mixers. Normally, the mixers that are being used are plain water or soda. But the mixers can be different depending upon the drink and the preference of the guest concerned. Talking about the service of spirits. Before doing anything, we have to be very sure about the equipment. The equipment is one thing. If we are ready with, we are going to give the guest an impeccable service that he is going to remember for the times coming. When it comes to the service of spirits, the basic equipment we require. First and foremost, a salver to carry all the things to the table. Then a coaster. Peg measure. In this we have 30 ml and the 60 ml. 30 is for regular, which is we also call small, and 60 is large. And then we have ice bucket with ice tong to carry the ice cubes to the table. Taking forward the various equipment that are required, I would like to talk about a speed pourer. This is one of the most important equipment that is being used in the bar for pouring. This has got two spouts, one for the air in it and other for the drink to be poured. Sometimes it must so happen that the guest has ordered a drink and he wants the mixers to be added in front of him. For that reason, we use decanters. The decanters are used for carrying water, uh, various kind of sodas, and even the juices if the guest wants the juice to be added to his spirit in front of him. So decanters, these are also very important part of the service of spirits. Let's move on to the service styles now. The first service style, which is neat. In case of neat, when we talk about neat, then in the servo, we need a coaster and a glass. In case of whiskey, it's the old fashioned glass with the brand and the quantity of spirit as per the guest order. Now let's go towards the table and see how we execute it. As we know the beverage service from the right hand side, approach the guest from the right hand side with the right foot forward and excuse the guest. Excuse me sir, here's your order. Thank you so much. Place the poster first and then your spirit in the appropriate glass announcing the name and the style. So your check 10 years small. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy your drinks. Thank you so much. So let's talk about the second style of service which is on the rocks. When we talk about on the rocks, the equipment and the server setup would be we need a poster and ice. A glass full of ice, appropriate glassware with a stir stick and in a separate shot glass the spirit as per the guest order. In this particular style we can even get the ice separately in the ice bucket and serve uh, in front of the guest and same we can pre-pour the drink on the rock and get it pre-mixed uh, and serve it to the guest. So let's comes to the execution as usual right hand side right foot forward excuse me sir here's your drink Thank keep the coaster so place the coaster first glass full of ice make sure you hold the glass from the bottom 
and then spirit announcing the brand and the quantity excuse me sir your jack daniel small on the rocks enjoy your drink sir thank you so much moving ahead the third style of service which is with mixtures now as we told earlier the mixture uh, preference would be entirely depend on the guest the uh, mixtures what mixture he prefer and the quantity that would be entirely guest choice and for this uh, in the server we need coaster as usual glass with the spirit as per the guest order and a server stick in that ice bucket in this case with ice and mixtures will get in the decanters so let's proceed towards service again from right hand side right foot forward salver appropriate distance from the guest excuse the guest excuse me sir here's your drink thank you Please so much the first. Sir, That'll be all. Thank you so much. Enjoy your drink, sir. Thank you so much. Cheers. Here, what's important is whatever mixture you are getting, the remaining one you have to leave on the table. Thank you, Pankaj, for this session about how to serve whiskey. And we had seen that whiskey is going to be served in this particular glass, being old-fashioned. And normally we are going to be serving whiskey either straight or on the rocks in an old-fashioned. So, Pankaj, uh, do you have something to add to it? Uh, sir, the whiskey we saw here, then what about other spirits when it comes to brandy, gin, tequila, rum? How we serve that? Is it the same glass with the same styles or how we go about it? When we talk of spirits, we are talking about uh, distilled beverages. And in most of the cases, rather all the cases, we are going to be serving a thyl alcohol which is at a dilution depending upon the beverage or the company's policy. So all of the drinks are going to have ethyl alcohol which is distilled and like you were asking about other beverages which are white spirits necessarily, all the white spirits namely your vodka, your gin and your uh, uh, white rums and dark rum, they are going to be served in this glass which is a highball glass. Uh, in some cases, in some organizations you will come across the SOPs or the standard operating procedures where your whiskey, if it is served with some mixers, it tends to go in a highball glass. And if you talk of gin and the white spirits, if you ask me personally, your gin, your white rum, your dark rum and your vodkas, a slice of lime goes as a garnish um, when we are going to serve, be serving these spirits. And if we talk of, let's say, a brandy or a cognac or an armaniac, it goes into this wonderful glass which is called a brandy balloon or a brandy snifter. Uh, this has got a small stem and uh, brandy being a drink that is being served after dinner, it tends to rest in your hand and the heat from your hand tends to warm up the brandy a bit and when you sniff it up, that's why it's called a snifter, the vapors come along and it gives you a very soothing feeling and it goes very well if you're smoking a cigar along with, though we don't promote smoking and we don't promote drinking as well. And apart from these beverages, uh, there is a very typical drink from Mexico by the name of tequila. It has got the fancy of the whole world for a long time now. And when we are going to be serving a tequila, it goes in a shot glass or a tequila glass or you can name any, this glass is anything. But normally it's called a shot glass. Uh, the standard measures being small and large 60 ml. And when you are going to be having a tequila in this glass, it is... And the procedure is slurp, that means on the bridge of between your finger and your thumb you put uh, a pinch of salt. This is a traditional way, though there are many things that are being changing as the world is changing. You lick, you slurp and then you suck on the lemon wedge, which is the process of having tequila. So what uh, at the end of the session, hopefully we have created some excitement and uh, some help and some learning on how the various spirits are going to be served. Thank you, Pankaj, for being such a wonderful host and uh, even letting me know how the various beverages are being served. So, uh, means we can sum up with like all the spirits are served in all the in these three styles only. That means neat, on the rocks, 
and with mixtures. With mixtures. The only course. differ is glass beer. When it comes to whiskey, we sold fashion. When it comes to tequila, rum, or gin with mixture, then it's uh, preferably highball. And when it comes to brandy, it's uh, it's uh, brandy snifter or brandy balloon. And of course, you forgot tequila, tequila which is going to be a shot glass. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much.